the last One Piece action figure of 2023 is here. And well... Two thousand twenty three has been a great year to introduce One Piece to the SH Figure Arts line. We've gotten a total of four figures, with Yamato being the last release of two thousand twenty three. Now, whether or not you agree or disagree that the One Piece line has been a hit, well, that is totally up to you. However, from my standpoint, there have been a couple hits and a couple misses. I would say more misses than hits. With Yamato, I'm going in with a fresh look, a fresh start. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this figure. I'm definitely not sure how the community is going to feel about this figure. One thing is for certain, this figure looks very appealing. The aesthetic of this figure, the presentation of this figure looks, again, appealing. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and take Yamato out of the packaging and see what all he comes with. Taking a closer look at Yamato, we are going to be getting a total of six different faceplates. We have five for the figure itself, and then we have that additional faceplate right there for Luffy. When it comes to the pairs of hands, you are going to be getting a total of five pairs of hands. Of course, we have our closed fist here. There are three pairs of hands for holding the weapon here. And then we have our open hands here at the bottom. Lastly, we are going to be getting three unique hands as well. We have this weapon here. I am not sure what this weapon is called. I'm just going to call it the metal bat or stone bat. Please correct me down in the comments below. And then we also are going to be getting a stand that is at the back here that you are going to be used using for displaying Yamato. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and take Yamato out of the packaging. As you can see for yourself, this figure just pops. Aesthetically, all of the colors come together. It is a vibrant figure. And you can see that for yourself. Uh, back here we have the geese coming down the river, by the way, if you can see them. Um, so yeah, that is one thing I will say I like about this figure is that it is such a vibrant figure. I love the colors, it pops, the shading on the skirt looks great. My only concern with this figure is that because it's such a tall figure and the legs are kind of thin, it, there is an issue with it standing up. Um, as you can see here, if I go to adjust it, like boom, it's gonna fall over. Still, it's gonna fall over. So you have to like really mess around with it and just get that balance in play. I will say the saving grace with this figure is the stand. The figure does come with a stand. I'm not gonna pull it out, of course, because I'm, I'm actually sending this to a friend of mine. So shout out to Art. Thank you for all that you've done this year, going to the Tamashi Nation store in New York and picking up some figures for me. This is for you, my friend. So, yes, the figure does come with a stand to compromise that issue with the figure standing up on its own. Aesthetically, the figure looks good. It captures that source material perfectly. The Yamato fans out there are going to have fun with this figure, and they're going to enjoy this figure. Now, as far as comparison to, like, Luffy, Zoro, and all of those figures there, I would say this figure stands out just because of its color alone. The aesthetic is just awesome. And it's not too bad really. You know, these uh, skirts do move. You can actually pull them out. Just pull them down here in the back. But just be careful. Oh. All right, there it goes, as you can see. 
They do come off. All right, here as well. Okay, well the whole piece came off that time. So yeah, here are the legs that I was mentioning. As you can see, it's just, they're really tall and thin. And I think that's why, you know, when you combine this with it as well, and then maybe the soft plastic skirt here, that's why you're, you're gonna have your issues. But again, to compromise, I do have the stand. So yeah, this figure does look good. The face plate, the face plate looks good. Overall aesthetic looks good. So let's go ahead and jump into the articulation. Now for starters, you can move these pieces here at the back so you can bring them down. You can bring them up if you like. And just having that range of motion is always welcomed. For the hair piece in the back, you can bring it up and you can slide it down. It's nicely done this time around. You can see the little peg there that connects it all together. Up and down, rotate it around, very nice. And then for the head, let's see, you can look up this much. You can look down this much. You can lean side to side as well. For the arms, the T-pose on this figure is probably the best that I've seen from the One Piece line for 2023. Flawless. No butterfly joint, but the arms do kind of stick out. It's a little cut, as you can see. Double jointed elbows, you got your bicep swivel, arm swivel, wrist does rotate. It does feel a little tight, I will say. The wrist does feel a little tight. And then of course you can move that up and down as well. So let's go ahead and look into the torso. With the torso, it looks like you may be able to move in a little bit, as you can see here. And then lean back. Very nice for leaning back there. And then rock side to side. All that stuff, even there at the waist as well. So yeah, you're good to go there. Great articulation for the upper half. And then for the lower half, again, you have this soft plastic piece here. I have seen third party people out there making like a soft goods. So that is available. It's out in the market. If you guys want to pick that up, go for it. Um, so for the legs, obviously they're not going to get up that high because of this here. Should you get a soft goods and you can bring it up, you know, about this high, you know, it's about 90 degrees. Elbow or not elbow with the knees are double jointed. Yeah. I think if they, for future releases like this, for like their, um, this type of body releases, I think it's gonna, they're in good shape, you know. They're in good shape here. Leg swivel. Okay, and then for the split. Oh, so you can't do a big full on split with her because the leg will pop off as you just seen. And then Again, going to the feet here, you can extend out, you got some rocker movement, and then of course you have a little bit of toe pivot as well. So yeah, articulation is what you expect it to be from Tomashi Nations, including the um, hindering from the soft good skirt here. My biggest thing with this figure is just, you know, making sure um, it's, it can stand on its own. Again, it, there is a stand there as well. But that's going to be the probably the biggest problem you're going to run into when posing this figure is just trying to get those poses without the figure falling over. And that's going to be it for the presentation and articulation. So let's go ahead and see what all Yamato comes with. Face plates, pairs of hands, accessories, and then we'll wrap it up with a conclusion. The five face plates that come with Yamato all look great. No QC issues, very expressive. And then of course, for Luffy, you get his additional face plate as well. Definitely a nice selection for Yamato. Now when it comes to swapping out the face plates for Yamato, it's very easily done. I will show you right now. There you go. Very easily done.
Moving into the pairs of hands, like I've said before, you get a total of five pairs of hands. Now, three of those pairs are going to be for the weapon that Yamato comes with. And you can see that the grip changes from tight to loose to even more loose. And then you have your open hands. And then lastly, we have our three unique hands. One is a pair, I guess. So I guess there's a total of six pairs of hands, which are, are like the praying hands, begging hands, what have you. And then two relaxed hands. Now, I did pull off the closed fist hands, and it was a bit tight. That could be because I'm out here and it's pretty cold outside. Just keep that in mind. You may have to heat the figure up, unfortunately. And then for our last accessory for this release, we have the stone bat, is what I'm calling it. Please comment below and let me know what this weapon is. Maybe Yamato has a specific name for this weapon. I am unsure. Now, I am going to show you how to equip this weapon to Yamato or whoever. All you need to do is remove this ring down here at the end. Get your hand here. It doesn't matter what size it is. You know, obviously the the greater or the um, the bigger the grip, the further up you can go, or the looser, or the more loose, whichever. Anyways, um, so you want to put that back in, slide that down, like so, and that is how it's going to look. And then let me grab the figure, and I'll show you how to put it on. All right, so with our bat here, all we have to do is just slide it on. So you can see this, how it goes. All right, not too bad, and you could probably hear it snap in. So let's see if, if Yamato can stand up with the figure, or with the uh, weapon like this. Let's just see. Hold on. All right. We can do it. So that's going to be like one of the biggest issues you're going to face with this figure is just making sure Yamato is balanced and can stand upright. And then when you have, when you take in consideration the, this weapon here, the ropes on the back, the long skinny legs, like, yeah, you're definitely going to need that stand at some point. But yes, this has been, this has been Yamato. So let's go ahead and wrap this up with a conclusion. I went into this figure thinking it was going to be a bad release, but it really and truly is not. Definitely worth a pickup if you are a fan of Yamato. Thank you again for watching. My battery's about to run out. But basically what I'm saying is this figure has been a breath of fresh air for the One Piece line. Minus the ability of it not being able to stand up. That's my biggest gripe with this figure. Thank you all for watching and we will see you all next time. Peace.